Sherry Ermshar, the president and CEO of Reader Pianos, is back with us again today. Okay, let's talk about moving pianos, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not everybody loves to do that, yeah. and not everyone should do that, right? That's absolutely correct, and that's why we have a piano moving department <sighs> specific to help people move their pianos. Okay. <laughs> it seems important. And, and you don't just move the pianos because somebody's moving. You actually have situations where a piano is damaged. Or... We can't, yes, that does happen. Not because we damage them, right. but because someone has tried to move the piano and didn't know what they were doing. It's a very specialized thing. Our movers are trained. We don't put them out by themselves until they've had a, about at least six months worth of training. We've got all the equipment. It's a lot of problem solving and so, you know, our guys know what they're doing. So if I need to move my piano, what information do I have to have at the ready before I call you? Well, you know, there are a couple different kinds of pianos. So there's yeah. the uprights, which stand against a wall typically, and then yeah. there's the grands, which are the three different three different legs yeah and so you know you have to know the height of the upright okay and the length of the grand that's important for us to know <laughs> I, I think people are going to say well can i just hire a moving company to do that and a lot of people try to do that <laughs> um, <laughs> and then... we are a, a we are a repair facility so we see all the damage that the other moving oh, companies do oh and gosh. i do want to say please don't try to move your piano by yourself they're hundreds of pounds and we don't want you to get hurt either <laughs> yeah what are some of the scenarios you've seen with? Well, you know, <laughs> a lot of people don't realize that the grands go on their side. And we have had to do a repair of a company who tried to move it out of the door without putting it on its side oh, and gosh. taking the legs off. No. That was quite a repair. Oh. Some people like to use the legs as handles oh. and they pull on them so they'll break. <laughs> um, pedals. Just thinking about it makes me really I see people really try nervous. to use pedals and they've broken off because they think they're a handle. So there's a lot of scenarios that, that can happen because, you know, Moving well, pianos is it's, hard. It, it's <laughs> a heavy piece of equipment and it's valuable. It's very valuable equipment. to people, <laughs> so, yes. And so it can be traumatic if you see damage done to your oh piano if it's moved incorrectly. So. <clears throat> How much notice do you need? We need one to two weeks notice okay. for local moves. If it's going outside of the Lansing area, we need two weeks notice. We do occasionally do long distance moves beyond that, which okay. we would need a lot more time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was wondering, would you take it like from Michigan to California if that the, the case were necessary? We do a couple of times a year, we'll do long distance moves. So if you're not in a rush to get your piano, we can get it there at some point. <laughs> if you need to move your piano, call Reader, Reader Pianos, and you can visit their website at readerpianos.com.